Fun. Live in LA 2016, BET Awards. One of my faves, Miss Chrisette Michelle. Never had a oh. chance to meet you before. Well, good to meet you. Yes, like it's weird. I'm fanning out, okay? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, so all I knew about, I worked for Radio One. So mm -hmm. I used to watch you on RB Diva. Sure. So how come you decided not to go back? The show's over. They stopped running it. It doesn't. It, yeah, it had two mercy. It had two seasons. It doesn't. It, it's not even because I yeah. thought I saw the Golden Girl and and the wh what's her name? Oh, that's a show called Hollywood Divas. Very okay, similar so name. It, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, see, they get you like that. So they're mm -hmm. not even doing that show no, anymore. No, I left um, in the middle of the second season, um, and then it, they they stopped it. You left in the middle though. Yeah. I had to go. It was kind of... Uh, yeah, well, you know what? There was a new character that came in um, right in the middle of the season. Right. Um, and her storyline, um, I think, sort of muddied a lot of the other storylines. Mm -hmm. And so I just, um, I felt like I knew there was some confusion coming. Right. And I knew that I didn't want to show anybody me in that space. You have such a good brand. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you, everybody doesn't have your brand that Thank you have. And I know you've worked hard yourself for it. Like, I yeah. know you've got a team. Yeah. But your Chrisette Michelle brand, I, I could feel the energy that that's you. Thank you. So I could get that you didn't want to muddy it up. <laughs> no, you don't want to muddy it, muddy it up. And, and you spend a lot of time. You know, this is my 10th year in the music industry. And I just felt like if I wanted to stay in it, I, there was little things that I had to do here and there and, and, and decline gracefully, mm -hmm. um, but decline nonetheless. You have a big following, Dallas. I'm so in love with Dallas. I'm actually moving to Dallas. Shut the front door. Yeah. Girl, yeah. give me your address right now. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't sure what she was about to say, but I knew it was going to be funny. I almost tricked it. <laughs> that would be 555. Five, five. Right? 777-9311. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're happy to have you. Thank You're on this big tour coming up. Yeah, 33 cities. It kicks off in um, New Orleans. And then, of course, we're coming to Dallas. The biggest show is going to be in Dallas. Ooh, and that's because this one time, years and years ago, I came to Dallas and did the House of Blues. And my voice went away right before the show because I had my first Red Bull. I didn't sing Ever? one word. My first. Yep. I didn't sing one word. And I held the microphone out to a sold-out crowd. And they sang every word. That, and then came make to you the cry. Meeting. It made me cry. I just, and they still, it's that's crazy. That is um, amazing. So I, I just feel loved in in the city. Um, wow. And so we're gonna go above and beyond this time. We we chose the biggest venue that we could in the city and um, go to the Milestone Tour to get tickets. I want to show you guys a lot of love, Boy. big after party, and and just really show out for you. You know we're gonna support you. I appreciate you know that. we are. We I definitely are, and we can't wait to have you there. I I can't believe that was your first Red Bull, girl. It was my first, well, Red Bull had sponsored the tour. Oh. And so the boys would drink it and they would play the drums and go crazy. Uh, 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 yeah. But one day I ran out of energy and I took a Red Bull and my voice, like, it literally shut. It just you're so me shot. right away. Yeah. Wow. That was my first time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now tell us about you got this major thing going on with McDonald's. Yeah, so McDonald's does a lot in our community, and I like that. Um, so they're doing a campaign to just keep people happy and have some fun in the summertime. Get out, sing together, do some karaoke. Um, so they're they're hanging out with me around the around the country. Okay. And then it's kicking off in New Orleans at the Essence. At Fest. the Essence. So I'll be at the 365 Black Awards with McDonald's, and I'll be singing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and will will this campaign be a bit like? Will it be anything about food? Because like, I want to, I you can't, do you eat McDonald's? Well, it's more, well, of course. But it's more about singing and having fun and Great. they're supporting black music. Okay. Um, they're supporting our community. And I think that when a big company like that uh, says that they want to do something for us, and I want to say, how can I be a part? Right, you know? right. You're the perfect yeah. ambassador. Thank you. Perfect Thank ambassador. You. There's nothing... There's but nothing we are taking, bad about Chris. We took Michelle. over a couple of McDonald's already. We, our first one, we were in Texas. Uh, we were in Houston, actually. We took uh -huh. over a McDonald's. So we're we taking uh -huh. over McDonald's. We're taking so over. So look for us to do that Girl. in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We was acting a fool. I was at the drive through window. No. I had so singing. Much fun. Doing yeah, singing. I was playing and acting silly. Would you, you want a 20 piece? Well, I used to work at McDonald's and I never made it to the cashier position. Girl, why was that my first job? I think that was everybody's that first was my job. Friend. Let me tell you, what, why did you quit? I don't want to talk about it. Say that again. I don't want to talk about it. Oh! Well, I'm going to tell you what mine. Mm -hmm. I quit because they put me on the mop. Well, everybody has to do the mop. Well, not, when, not when the local drug dealer comes in. Uh, wait, 
a minute. Not, not when a local drug dealer comes in and orders like Big Macs for everybody outside. You're not going to have me mopping the floor. You have to. If you work at Mickey D's, you have to do everything. Well, I quit that day. Oh. Well, I left because I had a, a something with music. I always okay, had, I had, had 17 jobs as a kid. Yeah, so you have you Jamaican I, now. I, okay. I am Jamaican. <laughs> I am. I'm Jamaican. That's probably. She Jamaican. I have 17 jobs she now. Has 17 <laughs> jobs. She don't get tired. 22 employees. No, don't get it's tired. Crazy. Let's talk about your CD. Sure, milestone. Out now. Is that feeling because you reached one? Yeah, well, it's 10 years in the music industry, and I feel like that, that is was a milestone. milestone yeah. I also started my own record label. I feel like that was a milestone. Girl. Yeah. And then I got engaged. So, like, it was just oh, all these great things at one time. It's a good time yeah. for it's you right time. now. It's a great a time. A good time. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a bundles chick, mm -hmm. but I miss. My naps. You know what I miss? My naps. I miss your blonde. I miss... You just, you owned mm -hmm. that. It was fun. Uh, and I needed to show black girls in the black community and every community what that looked like. Right. Um, how to do it with excellence. And it looked beautiful. Keep them shiny. Had, Excuse me. Well, no, you, I never seen her Chrisette's hair dry. It ain't got no dry. Ever. Ever. But it's coming back up for the wedding. So I'm planning on doing a lot of really cool magazine shoots for the wedding. I just had a brain fart. I wanted to ask you this. Are you going to sing Golden at your wedding? I will sing nothing. Are you going to allow that wedding. to play at your wedding? No. Because that is the ultimate. Way. Chris said that is the ultimate wedding. It's going to be on Absolutely. mine. Absolutely. It's going to be at mine. Nah. It's going to be at mine. If anything, it's going to be like, ring me. I'm going to be oh. out. There's going to be some chicken. <laughs> We're gonna be having a good time. Oh, I got a little surprise up my sleeve. You do. But, uh, I think I think I'll share the wedding with a lot of special people. Well, yeah. it's so nice to finally meet you. Thank you. I know your success is not. It, you haven't even reached the plateau yet. You are so going so Thank many you. places, and I'm very happy for you and your Thank relationship you. and your job and what you got going on now. I we appreciate like that. I said, Dallas really has a special a place in our heart for you, and I'm one of those people Thank that you. would have been singing the words for you that Thank day. You. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Chris Evans, I'm glad I didn't fan out too much. <laughs> <laughs>